1966 Chevrolet Impala SS. This one's definitely looking slick in that red. We'll check it out here. You can see these had the quad headlamps up front and a nice chrome bumper. Then you have the Impala SS badge right here in the grill. Very nice. You can see the paint looks pretty slick on this one. Very sharp. Up here you have the 327 badges. That's exactly what's under the hood. It's the 327 small block. It is riding on a nice set of rally wheels with some Cooper Cobra tires. You have your Super Sport badges right here on the fenders. Glass looks good. It's got some nice chrome mirrors with the Chevy bow ties. Let me back up a bit so we can look down the side here. Definitely a sharp looking car though. Very nice. As you can see, they've chosen to uh, turn the exhaust out the sides. Really cool. Here we'll take a look inside. You can see the door panels look like new. Nice sort of mid-height bucket seats. Of course the rear seat to match. And you have the little cut out back there. And uh, with an Impala badge in the center. Definitely a nice looking car. So has the factory wheel with the horn hoop and an Impala badge right here in the center. All original gauges. Used to have a fuel gauge over there to the left. 120 mile per hour speedometer. They have added a tack to the column as you can see. They've also added some aftermarket gauges below the dash just to keep tabs on everything. Very nice. And this one is actually a four speed car as well, which definitely makes it a lot more fun. Very sharp. I mean, a 327, they, they really like the rev, and then when you couple it with a four speed, it definitely makes a pretty exciting car. You can see the dashboard looks like new on this one as well. No cracking or anything. Really sharp. Here we'll continue on out back here. Nice big chrome bumper out back as well. We have another Chevrolet Impala SS badge on the trunk lid here. And a huge trunk on these cars. <laughs> Pretty massive, that's for sure. But as you can see, it's a nice straight car all the way around. And it is a pillarless hard top, so you can roll all this glass down and it's all wide open in here. Here, I'll go ahead and pop the hood and we'll take a look at that 327. All right, as you can see, They've kind of tried to dress it up a bit. Have a nice chrome air cleaner up top, as well as some chrome valve covers with the T bolts and everything. It does have a set of long tube headers on it as well. And the intake and the block, water pump, everything's painted in the Chevy orange. Uh, I definitely could use another coat of paint though. It's looking a little bit rough there. But it wouldn't take too much to bring it back. It does have an HEI distributor and some new wires as well. I mean, those 327s really do run strong. Should be a pretty fun car. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, specs here. Once again, it's a 1966 Chevrolet Impala SS. You guys can pause and read all the details here. But they have done quite a bit of work to the car. All new ball joints, tie rod, shocks, bushings, trailing arm bushings, everything. It does have a power front disc, so that's always nice in a car this age. The 
Definitely a sharp looking car though. Well anyway guys, I just thought you'd like a look at that one. I'm going to keep looking around and see what else they have. And I'll see you later. Bye.